So this video will devil a, devil as a review of the Vivor or Vevor beach fishing cart, uh, as well as a complaint uh, to Vivor. I'm, I'm going to make some assumptions that uh, Vevor does not fully comprehend the uh, level of um, uh, quality concerns and, and outright um, uh, uh, misrepresentation of this product, and they'll probably be glad to glad to hear about it so that they can remove this product from their from their list. I'm going to start, I'm going to show uh, later in the video, I'm going to show the actual cart as delivered and uh, show some of the deficiencies. But first, I want to point out that the pictures shown on the um, site, including this one, um, has a sticker that is actually, first of all, this picture is completely different than the other picture. Uh, let me show you that. So, um, this picture shows the rod holders in the corner. And again, there's that sticker. And I'll show you what that sticker means in a moment. Um, and this picture shows kind of what was delivered. Um, both of these are actually pictures of a cart made by a Luma cart, um, which is this side here, uh, this is the one that was that was first pictured, um, and you can see the um, one of these is the exact picture from the other site. Um, we'll go back to the Vavor site here. Um, it, it also, these dimensions here, 17.7 um, inches. Uh, the actual cart is that was delivered is closer to 24. Um, however, uh, it looks nothing like this. It, uh, it, it appears that these pictures were sent to a manufacturer in China or somewhere, I'm assuming China, um, and the aluminum uh, frame here, uh, in particular, this section here is not solid. You'll see that in a moment. Um, these pieces here didn't include fasteners that go all the way through and they were uh, extremely long, you know, down to about here. So they'd have to be cut to get it at this height. Uh, additionally, the, let me change the pictures here to the front view. There's again that sticker, I'll show you that in a moment. Well, I'll show you right now. Um, there's the picture. Um, this is actually a Lumacart's uh, logo, um, and this is not a Lumacart. Um, let me show you the front picture here. Um, the cart that I'll show you in a moment that was delivered by Vavor, and it doesn't matter if it's this cart, which is different than this cart. Um, you can see that they both have these torsion boxes at the bottom of this, this uh, axle support strut. Um, additionally, this, uh, you can see by this bolt here, um, that that is a, um, a swivel. Um, and that these, this front axle assembly turns with the handle. Um, I'll show you in a moment on the actual cart that was delivered that all that is fixed, um, and, this, and this does not turn, which would, given the distance of these wheels apart from each other and their widths, uh, it would be very, very difficult to turn that in the sand. Um, also, the axles that uh, were delivered with the cart are 30, um, about 32 inches long, which is substantially wider than the cart, um, and more so than what the picture has shown. So clearly this has been manufactured by someone at one, maybe at one time they were selling the actual Luma cart, which is twice the cost that on the Vevor site. So there's probably a reason why it's only $268. Um, but they definitely need to suspend this product immediately until they can work out uh, a new supplier or manufacturer for this product. Um, and I will continue this video in just a moment, showing you the actual cart that was delivered. So I'm in my workshop at my office. Um, first of all, the, uh, it came in this box. Um, this is the instructions, product installation instructions. Um, the, there is a very rudimentary diagram showing the parts. Um, the, there is no... Uh, inventory or explanation for the hardware uh, just came all in a bag um, the 
the hardware is not what's pictured. Uh, you can see that the, the locking pins or cotter pins are, uh, for the axles are, are quite a bit different than what's in the picture. You can see that the support strut has no torsion box at the bottom and that these are both of these are identical front and back um, with a very basic um, connection point. Obviously, they don't turn. Um, this is how the handle is attached here. So the handle swivels, but the front axle does not. This is flipped upside down currently, but this is the, the uh, upper, upper box of the wagon. It's flipped upside down, but these are extremely long um, and have no holes. They uh, uh, connect via, and this is like it is pictured, uh, this portion here, but there's, um, there's no long enough bolts to support through and you'd have to pre-drill the holes in that. And, um, and you'd have to cut it down to get the same height. It would, it would be, you know, quite a bit higher than what's pictured if we installed it that way. And of course, you'd have to drill the holes, which is fine, but uh, it just doesn't say that. Um, having the front wheel assembly not being able to turn is, is huge. The bad thing is I had made this teak uh, tabletop uh, with some support, folding support legs that actually tie into an extension that I was going to put on top of this cart. And I made that according to the dimensions online, uh, which showed, you know, 19 inches or whatever it was, um, perfectly to fit that top. Um, and then it was delivered and it's 24 inches wide. So this one is worthless. However, it happens to fit on my folding cart here really well. So it's not a total loss, but it's extremely disappointing. So Obviously, I'm wanting my money back, but additionally, I want them to send me a return uh, return shipping label and, and help me get this handled. And I really want them to know as a company that they're uh, not only fraudulent in representing a product that's not being, you know, being manufactured by Lumicraft, which is an American company, um, is what's being pictured, but what's being delivered and uh, is not at all what's being pictured. So I'm sure Lumicraft would not want to hear about this as well. So. Anyway, I'm going to send this video first to Vivor or Vevor, and um, if I get an unfavorable response, I'll forward it on or I'll post it on uh, on YouTube and uh, let Illumicart know as well. That's it. Don't buy this product. Uh, I think the company is great. I just think they, they made a mistake here. So um, yeah, be, be warned.